if there's one piece of career advice that I listened and it just hit me like a ton of bricks, it has got to be Jordan Peterson's uh, video that I watched on the career lie versus motherhood. So if you're struggling with balancing your career and motherhood, I'll be sharing my uh, take in terms of his video and because I'm a career woman essentially and whatever he says to me makes so, so much sense. So hi, uh, my name is Linda. If you're new to this channel, I talk about my marketing career. I talk about self-love and my feminine lifestyle. So if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my weekly videos. So let's talk about Jordan Peterson. Um, Jordan Peterson is, I mean, for me, he, He's, he's really helped me. He's helped me so much in just trying to understand what it means to be a woman, uh, especially a career woman navigating this um, world, how to balance myself emotionally, how to be more productive. And it's so interesting because the first time I heard about him, it was actually with a male colleague of mine. This was like three years ago. And I remember that day he called me, he's like, Linda, I've just watched this video on YouTube for Jordan Peterson, and he's saying that women are more suitable to certain roles. What do you think? And I, he expected me to push back. But after I listened to that clip, honestly, to me, Jordan Peterson makes a lot of sense. And here is why I completely agree with what he's saying. I've worked for of, over 10 plus years in a high-flying marketing job. I've worked with some of the largest brands in Sub-Saharan Africa, and I can completely agree with what he's talking about. First of all, I think it's such an, an, an unrealistic expectation for you to balance a high-flying career and have a proper functioning family. At some point, there's going to be a clash. And this is something that I faced three or so years ago. I had to make a decision whether I wanted to grow my family or continue with my high flying career. It was not going, I mean, it was, it, another woman probably could have handled it with a lot of stress. But looking at my job, it was a regional job. It required a lot of travel. It was very intense. And I had to actually take a step back to to stay at home for some time so that I can try and grow my family. Now, what Jordan Peterson simply says is there's a career myth, which is true. It is so, so true. And I, I, uh, looking back, if I look at what I would have done differently, I think for me, it was right to get married at the age I got married. I got married at what, 10 or so years ago. I was probably 27. For me, it made sense to settle down at that point in time. And I see some of my friends, they have such high-flying jobs. And 10, 12 years later, they're still single. Okay, so they are struggling with loneliness because they are now closer to their 40s. They're struggling with loneliness. And then still this high-flying career comes with its own additional pressure. So you will find, like I have friends, yeah? they can't, on a normal day, over the weekend, they are still working. Okay, in the evenings, they're still working morning till evening. I know I, my son goes to school with this lady. She's single. She tells me, Linda, I barely sleep. I barely sleep. She's like, she's just made partner is one of these big audit firms. She says she barely sleeps and she barely has time for, for the family. So how she structured her partnership is now the husband has to be the stay at home mom, uh, a stay at home dad to look after the children because she does not have the time. She's the breadwinner. So you see, for me, I look at it and I say, okay, yes, career is good, fine. Yes, we are all taught that yes, go to school, work hard. I mean, if you're ambitious, you probably want a high flying job, but at what expense? At what expense? More and more I'm sitting and I'm thinking the traditional gender roles had a role to play. I'm sorry, I'm not a feminist. I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody, but this is just my personal opinion. The old traditional gender roles had a role to play. If you look at the African culture, we were socialized to get married earlier. And if you really honestly look at it, it really was not a bad thing. It went line in hand in hand with the biological clock for women. 
Yes, now there's technology, there's science. Yes, we can get children at a much more advanced age, which is fantastic. But our traditional system actually catered for our natural way of the woman's cycle. Okay, so we were you get married earlier, probably to an older gentleman, because of course at that point in time, women were not that empowered. There were not many were working, so it was really for security. And then the women were just supposed to procreate and take care of the home so that they can ensure there's a legacy that goes on. But fast forward to now, we all have gone through this whole empowerment cycles. And I remember when I started working, I mean, for me at that point, I was like, what, 20 something? I just got in my MBA when I was 20 or something. For me, the last thing I was thinking about was getting married. No, I think I was 24, not 20. The last thing I was thinking about was getting married. And I remember my mother would always ask me, she'd be like, okay, maybe you should think about um, settling down. Maybe you should think about settling down. Of course, I did not listen, but at some point naturally, I started feeling the need to, to just be in a solid relationship and partner up and settle down. And I remember amongst my friends, because we are a group of you know young, ambitious babes, Amongst my friends, I was the only one who got married at that particular point in time. Looking back, it really, honestly, for me, it, it, play, it, it, it was an amazing thing because I'm thinking if I put aside my, um, my relationship or my, my call to become a mom and a wife for the sake of pursuing my career, and seeing what I'm seeing now, because I eventually still went back, I still was able to do my job, but the pressure that comes with having to, to, to sustain some of these jobs, honestly, we cannot underestimate. We cannot underestimate some of those pressures. And to me, Jordan Peterson, honestly, I mean, his way of thinking literally changed my life because for the first time I listened to somebody who said, you know what, you, it's okay not to, to put something aside. It's okay. He reassured me because after working for 10 years, I started feeling like Linda, everybody is saying you can have it all, but to me, I was not having it all. Personally, I was struggling. Outside, I had an amazing career. I had a good family, but nobody could understand what it was, the emotional toil that it was taking me to be able to balance both a high pressure job and then having to come back and be a wife and be a mother. Everybody outside was making it look so okay to be a superwoman kind of thing. But when I listened to Jordan Peterson and he says, he reassured me and made me feel normal. He made me feel normal because I listened and I said, oh my God, I'm normal. I'm normal to feel I can't balance the two. I'm normal to feel I need to take a step back and focus on one thing. So for me, if I was to advise any millennial career woman who wants to you know, start her career, the only thing I could tell them is, okay, fine, you do your job, accelerate your ambition. For me, I would push them towards finding their purpose earlier. I would push them towards finding their purpose earlier so that you start to do meaningful work earlier and find a way of eventually transitioning from a typical nine to five job because these jobs at the end of the day, sometimes they can really be draining. Remember, you're not your own boss. You can't keep telling your boss that you're unwell. You can't keep you know, making excuses to your boss or as to why you didn't you know, meet a particular deadline because of personal issues. It, it, it will reach a point where it, 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 they will, it, will not sit very, it will not sit very well. Because remember at the end of the day, the work environment is a very competitive environment. And that's why sometimes, the, in fact, there was a time at Nestle we were being taught there's, there's this whole curve, whereby for women, the more they advance in age, the more their careers stagnate. Because it's a natural curve where if you have a family, if you have a husband, if you have a married, somehow at some point you will struggle and something will have to give. And most of the times they find that 
sometimes women now take a step back out of the career. Maybe they take a career break. Maybe they take a sabbatical like they did just to regroup themselves so that they can come back stronger. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Do you think um, Jordan Peterson is crazy for saying that women are following um, this, this whole career myth that's misleading women about how they're living their lives? Or do you agree with me uh, where we say that, yes, it's natural for women to want relationships. And yes, at one point in your career, if you're too driven, you will struggle. Let me know what your thoughts are. And if you're looking to work with me, check out my details in the subscription box. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.